This video will guide you through the process of connecting your Bowers & Wilkins Zeppelin Air to your wireless home network. It's a one-off process and once done you'll be able to wirelessly stream music from computers, iPads, iPhones and iPod touches connected to the same network. Before you begin, it's worth checking you've got the latest version of iTunes installed on your computer. And it's also worth noting that Bowers & Wilkins occasionally updates the firmware for the Zeppelin Air. So visit the website for details on how to install the latest version. Once you're done, close down all running applications and make sure your wireless router is switched on. You'll need to know the name and password of your wireless network. And it's also important that the network is running on the 802.11g standard, or a variant that includes 802.11g. To begin, ensure that all cables have been removed from the Zeppelin Air, and no iPhone or iPod is attached to the docking arm. Next, Connect one end of the supplied Ethernet cable to your Zeppelin Air and the other end direct to your computer, not via a router. If an Ethernet cable is already connected to your computer, just remove it for the duration of the setup. You won't need an internet connection for now anyway. And if you're using a computer such as a MacBook Air that doesn't have an Ethernet connection, fear not. You can make the Zeppelin Air set up its own temporary wireless network. Just visit the website for more details. We now need some power, so plug in the Zeppelin Air's power cable and you'll see a dim red light on the docking arm. Press the power button and the light will flash purple as the Zeppelin Air tries to establish a connection. This will take up to two minutes. The light will go solid purple once a connection has been made or flashing yellow if the Zeppelin can't establish an Ethernet connection. If this happens, make sure that both ends of the Ethernet cable are firmly in place, take out the power cable and start again. Once the connection between your Zeppelin Air and your computer has been successfully established, you need to access the Setup User Interface. To do this, just open up a web browser and type 169.254.1.1 into the address bar. This will access the setup page stored in the Zeppelin Air. Now this isn't an internet page, so if you type it into the search bar, it won't work. Next, give it a name and click apply. Now this is particularly useful if you're lucky enough to own more than one Zeppelin Air. You'll get a confirmation screen, just click OK. You can now connect your Zeppelin Air to your wireless network. From the drop-down, simply select the name of your home network. Now you can enter the password for your wireless network and click Join. It's really important that you get this password right. Don't forget it's case sensitive and contains only alphanumeric characters, not special symbols. This warning message will remind you that if you join the wrong network or enter the wrong password, you may be unable to connect and you'll have to perform a factory reset and start all over again. Just click OK. Now remove the Ethernet cable from the rear of your Zeppelin Air. The indicator light will begin to flash purple as the Zeppelin seeks to join your wireless network. After about a minute, it should turn solid purple, which indicates a connection has been made. Once the connection has been established, you're ready to start streaming music from iTunes or AirPlay-enabled devices direct to the Zeppelin Air. Within iTunes, you'll see a new AirPlay icon has appeared in the bottom right-hand corner of the window. Click on that and you can select Zeppelin Air as your speaker. If you're using an iOS device, such as the iPhone, you'll find the AirPlay icon within the iPod function. Further information is available in the Zeppelin Air user manual, available for download from the Bowers & Wilkins website. 